Well there, one of the reasons why we are referred to as Africans is because of our diverse, unflinching and rich cultural heritage. Today here we are once again cutting edges with the happy people of Baramata Kingdom as they mark the fourth coronation anniversary of their monarch. His Royal Majesty, Godwin K. Bebenimbo, the paramount ruler of Baramata Kingdom. Now sit back, relax and see the reasons why the Ijoz of the Niger Delta region, South South Nigeria, are known to be unique in their rich cultural heritage. Is event to do segments on your biggest, brightest and breakfast show, GMA on African Magic Channel. I'm still the D-O and the R-O-I, S Doris. yourself to Africa. My name is Timia Laibe. Could you please tell us the reason why you're here today and why you've been conferred the chief tent and how you feel about this special recognition given to you by this people of Baramato Kingdom? Essentially, um, uh, I have been involved in sustainable development in Niger Delta and I believe that um, in some of the communities we have touched with development. Uh, they come back to appreciate some of the things we have done, some of the contributions we did while we were in public service. Now I'm a private person and that's why I'm, I'm accepting this. Normally I don't accept chieftaincy titles, but it's um, something that, especially in this community, there's something that um, is historical about it. Uh, the point where the community was in turmoil, where this community was born, where they had their challenges. I believe that it was then that they needed an at, at government attention. I was the first federal government official to land this community at the time of crisis. And we were able to bring about peace, the peace you see that is enduring here today. By the grace of God, the Almighty God used some of us to ensure that it happened. So if um, we have been honored today, um, and some of, even the sustainable development projects here, we were part of it. Um, some of the policies we implemented at the NDDC ensured that canalization work was done here. And then and some of the communities in Banamatu Kingdom saw protection works and so on. Um, so if we are being honored to that thing is humbling and something that one wants to um, thank God for and appreciate the people for honoring the, one of their own. Okay, so but how do you feel? Could you express yourself? How do you feel about this special honor? Just humble. Oh, really? Yes, so humble. after this chief tends to confirm it on you, what next for your people? Um, it's possible to do more. I think that's the point. Uh, whatever opportunity you have, and that's what we advise people in public service when you have an opportunity, impact. You must ch challenge yourself and impact. I want you to impact the people who are Thank you so much for speaking with me. Challenges? Yeah. Okay. The, the, no, in every uh, endeavor, there are challenges, and God will now wipe those challenges off, and you are able to contain them. And I'm containing them through the help of God. Okay, tell us your achievements 
so far? Achievements. There are some achievements here to our school. We got water. When I came here, there was no water. But now we've got some water now. We are making use of water. They are making some one route from Befan to, uh, I think, uh, Seitorububo. There's one from Befan to Madan. If that one had been done, then I would have been riding my car. But because that one has not been done, the, 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 the state government is paying deaf ear to all those things. Now my schools here, my challenges, I have no call subject teachers. I have written severally to the government. Delta State Ministry of Education, they will not. Youth Coppers, I personally wrote a letter and went to what you call that place, uh, Iseluku, to say there is no war in Bramatu again. Let them come. I undertake to take them safely be here and throughout their stay, I will guide them. No trouble. Up to now, they did come. They refused to give me Youth Coppers. Well, one of those things, God will touch them. Yes. Now we've heard about your achievements and challenges challenges during your four years of reign as a king in this kingdom. Now, what is your aspiration? Yes, my aspiration is I want development here in Fashrajulan and all that is. But besides that, you see, in any place where there's no peace, there will be no development. So my advice to my people now is that my people should live, should endeavor always live peacefully with one another. While I am still emphasizing, very much emphasizing that we should endeavor to live in perfect peace with our neighbors around us, in, irrespective of tribe or religion, uh, religious affiliation. That the Almighty God that created us and put put in this enviable oil rich terrain did not make mistake. Therefore, let no one put us asunder. Okay, thank you so much. Now, what message do you have for all the royal fathers, your co-royal fathers? Co-royal fathers. We are joined together and one umbrella. We will be doing things on that. Because they like me, that's why they are here. So if they do theirs, I will be there too. And I want God to save us. And whenever they want to do something, I too will go and grace occasion for them. Ferment of chieftain to Titus in our society. Oh, thank you very much. I, His Royal Majesty. Ogoni Ogoro the first JP, the authority of Olomo Kingdom in Ugele South local government area. I have much to tell you about significance of Chivitans in confirmation. It is a great honor for somebody to be addressed as a chief. Look at the national chairman of uh, PDP. He has a great name but has not been a chief. Today is given chieftaincy title, a name that covers all the other things politically, which he has. And you see in our land, a uh, Nigerian lady, isn't you know so? I know you are even craving to become a chief. <laughs> so yes, I look forward to a day where I will be conferred a chieftaincy title as well. You do well, you come to my kingdom. <laughs> Oh, it's an honor. So oh, yeah, yeah. it is a, a respectable um, title. And uh, people, you know, particularly those who know themselves, they will not mess up with anything. They will not be fraudulent. They will not be oppressive. They will be generous to all people, true chiefs. So it is. So when a traditional ruler honors somebody with chief title, it is a great honor. Your Majesty, sir, as one of the royal fathers that graced today's occasion, could you please tell us the significance of conferment of chief title in our society? Conferment of chief title in our society, in our domain, to deserving sons and daughters, is a way of motivating them to do more. 
it's a way of telling them that do more. It's a way of telling them I recognize you in this kingdom for the good job you are doing. So confinement of Chief Deputy Title is to is to to elevate them, is to promote them so that people nearby and far away will know and recognize them that they are true citizens, they are true sons and daughters of a particular kingdom. Thank you so much. So what advice do you have for upcoming the, the youths or the young ones in our society as regards recognition? What I will advise the young ones is to emulate their elders, is to emulate their brothers, their elder brothers and sisters, so that they can equally be given, they can be equally be unknown in a public place like this. It's not easy to choose one out of million to be honored with a citizenship title. It is not easy. So they should emulate their elder brothers, they should emulate those that are being unknown with citizenship title, so that they can be equally be given. So much so. Well then, quite entertaining and rich in African culture. All the way from Baramata Kingdom, it's been an exciting moment with you. Thanks for being with us today on Event to Dory segment on your biggest, brightest breakfast show, Jimmy on African Magic Channel. Join us again next time for another exciting episode. I still remain your presenter, the D-O-N, the R-O-I-S, Doris. Bye. But still hold on. The program continues with the rest of the guys in the studio.